today's topic is TTL circuits. In 1964, Texas Instruments introduced transistor-transistor logic, which we call TTL. A widely used family of digital devices. It is fast, inexpensive, and easy to use. Digital integrated circuits. Chip is a small piece of semiconductor using advanced photographic techniques. A manufacturer can produce miniature circuits on the surface of a chip. Such a circuit is called integrated circuit (IC). Because the components, which are transistors, diodes, resistors, are an integral part of the chip, so chip is a small piece of semiconductor, and in an integrated circuit, which we call IC. miniature circuits on the surface of a chip are produced in which there are several components like transistors diodes resistances etc levels of integration there are three levels of integrations ssi small scale integration it refers to ics with fewer than 12 gates on the same chip then medium scale integration msi it refers to ics with 12 to 100 gates on the same chip and lsi large scale integration it refers to ics more than 100 gates on the same chip technologies the two basic technologies for manufacturing digital ics are bipolar and mos the first fabricates bipolar transistors on a chip and the second mosfets bipolar technology is preferred for ssi and msi bipolar technology is preferred for small scale integration and medium scale integration ssi and msi because it is faster mos technology dominates the lsi field because more mosfets can be packed on the same chip area digital family digital family is a group of compatible devices with the same logic levels and supply voltages compatible means that we can connect the output of one device to the input of the other device compatibility permits a large number of combinations bipolar families are dtl diode transistor logic ttl transistor transistor logic and ecl ammeter coupled logic mos families are pmos which uses p channel mosfets nmos which uses n channel mosfets and cmos complementary mosfets push pull arrangement of n and p channel mosfets 7400 devices the 7400 series is a line 
of TTL circuits introduced by Texas Instruments in 1964. It has become the most widely used of all bipolar ICs. This TTL family contains a variety of SSI and MSI chips that allow us to build all kinds of digital circuits and systems. Standard TTL Following figure shows a TTL NAND gate. This is the figure which shows a standard TTL NAND gate. Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 are 4 transistors. D1 is diode plus 5 volt supply voltage is used. A and B are 2 inputs connected to 2 ammeters of Q1 transistor. In this transistor Q1 there are 2 ammeters. Arrow is direction of arrow of these 2 ammeters shows that this is NPN transistor. This figure shows a TTL NAND gate. The multiple ammeter input transistor is typical of all the gates. Multiple ammeter means more than one ammeter. Here in this diagram we have two ammeters so that two inputs A and B can be connected to these two ammeters. The multiple ammeter input transistor is typical of all the gates and circuits in the 7400 series. Each ammeter acts like a diode. Transistor Q1 and the 4 kilo ohm resistor acts like a 2 input AND gate. two ammeters to which two inputs A and B are connected along with 4 kilo ohm resistor. This behaves like a two input AND gate. This base emitter junction behaves like a P and diode. So we have two P and diodes because there are two emitters and these are connected to battery of plus 5 volt through 4 kilo ohm resistance and this forms two input and gate. So each emitter acts like a diode. Transistor Q1 and the 4 kilo ohm resistor act like a two input and gate. The rest of the circuit inverts the signal. Rest of the circuit acts like a NOT gate which inverts the signal. So the overall circuit acts like a two input NAND gate. AND gate plus NOT gate 
becomes NAND gate. The output transistors Q3 and Q4 form a totem pole connection, typical of most TTL devices. These are the output transistors Q3 and Q4. These two output transistors Q3 and Q4 form a totem pole connection. By totem pole connection, we mean that only one of these two transistors is on. One is on and other is off. When Q3 is on, Q4 is off and when Q4 is on, then Q3 is When Q3 is on, Q4 is off and when Q4 is on, then Q3 is off. Out of these two transistors, one is on and other is off at a time. When Q3 is on and Q4 is off, output Y which is obtained at the collector terminal of Q4 transistor. Output Y obtained at collector of Q4 transistor will be high when Q3 is on and Q4 is off. When Q3 is on and Q4 is off, this plus 5 volt appear at collector of Q4 and high voltage is obtained as output. And if Q3 is off and Q4 is on, then a low output Y is obtained. The output transistors Q3 and Q4 form a total totem pole connection typical of most TTL devices. Either one or the other is on. When Q3 is on, the output is high and when Q4 is on, the output is low. Ideally, the input voltages A and B are either low that is grounded or high that is plus 5 volt. If A or B is low, Q1 saturates. If A is low or B is low or both are low, these two diodes, two emitters of this Q1 transistors behaves as diode, PN diode. And direction of arrow is from P to N. If one or more inputs A or B or both are low, then one or both diodes saturates current flows through one or both the emitters because one or both the diodes then becomes in forward bias. So if A or B is low Q1 saturates, emitter current through transistor Q1 flows and it is called in saturation condition. This reduces the base voltage of Q2 to almost zero. 
if current flows through a meter of q1 either a meter of q1 then it is in saturation condition and this reduces the base voltage of q2 to almost zero collector of this transistor q1 is connected to base of transistor q2 when transistor q1 saturates base voltage of transistor q2 becomes almost zero so transistor q2 becomes in cut off state and no ammeter current flows through this transistor q2 when no ammeter current flows through transistor q2 the base voltage of transistor q4 becomes zero because base voltage of transistor q4 is the voltage across this 1 kilo ohm resistance which is connected to ammeter of q2 and when no ammeter current flows through q2 no current flows through 1 kilo ohm resistance so potential difference across 1 kilo ohm resistance becomes zero so base voltage of transistor q4 is also zero and transistor q4 then is called in cut off conditions ammeter current from this transistor q4 will also be zero when q4 is in cut off condition q3 will be in on state saturation condition and we get a high output y output y is obtained across the collector terminal of q4 when q4 is off in cut off condition then q3 will be on in saturation condition and output y will be high this is the case when a or b inputs are low and q1 transistor saturates when both on the other hand when both a and b are high the collector diode of q1 goes into forward when both a and b are high the collector diode of q1 goes into forward conduction this forces q2 and q4 into saturation when a and b both are high now no ammeter current flows through these two ammeters and then this high volt plus 5 volt is applied to the base of transistor q2 when high voltage is applied to the base of transistor q2 it comes into saturation condition and maximum ammeter current flows so current through the ammeter of q2 flows and it flows through 1 kilo ohm resistance 
so a high voltage is applied at the base of q4 and then q4 comes into saturation or on state when q4 transistor is in on state q3 transistor will be in off state and then output y obtained will be low so when a or b transistors are low or both the transistors both the inputs a and b are low either a is low or b is low or both are low we get high voltage at output y and when both the inputs a and b are high then we get low output at y this is shown in this truth table when both the inputs are low or either one input is low output y is high that is one and output y is low zero when both the inputs a and b are high this is the truth table and it is the truth table of a nand gate so this circuit behaves like a nand gate and it is a standard ttl nand gate in this ttl nand gate we use totem pole output two transistors q3 and q4 form a totem pole connection when q3 is on q4 will be off and when q4 is on then q3 will be off either one of the two transistors will be on and the other is in off state at a time and this form a totem pole connection the advantage of a totem pole connection is its low output impedance when totem pole connection is used output impedance will be low it reduces the switching time due to low output impedance time constant which is rc becomes low because resistance r is small so the output voltage can change quickly from one state to other so due to low output impedance switching time is reduced output voltage can change quickly in short time from one state to other now we see what is propagation delay time and what is power dissipation a standard ttl gate has a power dissipation of about 10 milliwatt the propagation delay time is the amount of time it takes for the output of a gate to change after the inputs have changed when inputs are changed output will also change and the time taken is known as propagation delay time so propagation delay time is the amount of time it takes for the output of a gate to change when after the inputs have been changed for a standard ttl gate the propagation delay time is approximately 10 nanosecond standard ttl the initial ttl design with resistance values that produce a power dissipation of 10 milliwatt per gate 
एंड द प्रोपोगेशन डिले टाइम ऑफ टेन ओ टेन नैनो सेकेंड इट इज कॉल्ड ए स्टैंडर्ड टी टी एल डिवाइस नंबर्स बाई वेरिंग द डिज़ाइन ऑफ फिगर ऑफ दिस फिगर वन मैन्युफैक्चरर्स कैन अल्टर द नंबर ऑफ इनपुट्स नंबर ऑफ इनपुट्स इन दिस डायग्राम आर टू देर आर टू इनपुट्स ए एंड बी बिकॉज द इनपुट ट्रांजिस्टर हैव टू अमीटर्स दिज नंबर ऑफ इनपुट्स कैन बी चेंज वी कैन टेक थ्री और फोर अमीटर्स सो दैट थ्री और फोर इनपुट्स कैन बी यूज सो द डिज़ाइन ऑफ दिस फिगर मैन्युफैक्चरर्स कैन अल्टर द नंबर ऑफ इनपुट्स एंड द लॉजिक फंक्शन the multiple ammeter inputs and the totem pole outputs are still used no matter what the design in all the designs multiple ammeter inputs and the totem pole outputs are used following table lists some of the 7400 series ttl gates this is the list where a number is given to the device that is device number and this number starts from 7400 7400 this device number is for quad 2 input nand gates this diagram shows two input nand gate this is two input nand gate there are two inputs and the truth table of this circuit is the truth table of nand gate so this is the circuit for two input nand gates 7400 device is quad two input nand gates then it means that it consist four such circuits quad means four so it has four two input nand gates similarly 7402 device is quad two input nor gates 7404 device is hex inverter hex means six inverter is not gate it means 7404 device have six not gates similarly 7408 device is quad two input and gates and so on so there are large number of devices and each device is given a number and this large number these large number of devices we call them 7400 devices